fellow Hertz again. In this video I'm going to show you the essentials of tapping on the guitar. Uh, the easiest way to describe tapping for me is to play notes on the fretboard with your picking hand, whether it's the left hand or the right hand, depending on which hand you're more oriented to use. When it comes to techniques such as tapping, uh, I think that the clarity of the notes being played uh, can be equally important as the notes being played. Uh, that will change, of course, in the context of the music that you're playing and the emotions that you're trying to express as you're playing, uh, it's all subjective. So in my opinion, uh, when it comes to techniques such as tapping, it's not the same to hear this, right, than to hear this. And that is easily taken care of by muting the strings that you're not playing. You can check out some of the muting techniques that I use in my uh, sweep picking video on this YouTube channel right here. And uh, you can also visit my MySpace page in which I don't show you anything, but uh, it's still kind of a, it'd be cool if you did. When it comes to tapping, uh, the way that I mute the strings, I take care of the lower strings by placing my, the palm of my hand and sometimes even my forearm on the strings that I am not playing. That way no unwanted sounds come out of them. It's the only reason why no sound is coming out of these strings is because I'm resting my forearm and the palm of my hand on them. And when I go to lower strings, uh, I use the part of my index finger that I'm not playing with to mute the unwanted strings, right? As an example, if I'm playing on the G string, I say G string, uh, the higher strings, this B and this E strings, are taken care of by the index finger. No sound is coming out of them because I'm slightly resting uh, the side of my index finger on them. And the lower strings, once again, I'm muting with my, the palm of my picking hand and the for forearm. So, no unwanted sound is coming out of those strings because I'm muting them. So the way that I get the sound out of the tapping motion is uh, essentially the same way as doing a hammer-on and a pull-off. Uh, I pretty much whack the fret and then I move the, the finger down in a way that it is similar to picking but with the finger itself. So when I do tapping on the guitar I like using the middle finger as opposed to some guitar players who like using the index finger and uh, I encourage you to use whichever finger works for you. That sounds kind of weird. As cool as this might sound, the middle finger is right where I need it to be while I'm playing. Uh, and I'm not having to worry about where the pick is going. As an example, if I have to do a sweep, the middle finger is right there. I don't have to put the pick anywhere else. So what would be a guitar lesson without a lick to go along with it? This lick is uh, based out of a uh, an Ingwe Mumstein exercise uh, in which he plays a pattern of six notes and he's picking everything flawlessly, Ingwe Mumstein style. Uh, and in this example, I'm going to use an, an E minor scale. And the exercise is, like I said, it's fairly simple. The pattern is easy to memorize because it's only six notes. And in this case, we're going to do it in an E minor scale. Now, what he's doing is playing the eighth fret, fifth. And that's the whole pattern, and then you repeat. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute the first note uh, played with the pinky, in this case, we're going to substitute it with a tap. And the rest, of the, the, the rest of the exercise is going to be the same, but we're going to do only hammer-ons and pull-ups instead of picking every note, right? So we do the eighth fret, five, seven, and eight, now we're replacing the tap with, with the pinky. Or if you like using the, uh, the ring finger instead, that works as well. Um, I have smaller hands, so I have to use the pinky. And uh, we repeat it and we, we loop it. I should slow it down, sorry. continue the lick with hammers and pull -ups. So we can 
move up the E minor scale on the first string. And before I do that, I should remind you that pay attention to the muting. So once again, the palm of the hand and the and the forearm is resting on those strings, on the on one of its strings. And now we can move up. Um, in this case, the E minor scale. The way that we're going to use it is going to be uh, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and A, right? Or frets would be 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, and 17. And we can move the pattern up the scale, uh, right? After playing the first, the first way that we're playing the pattern, so it's the exact same pattern. Now we just substitute the fingers, the fingering, um, up one position in the scale. In this case, we will start. We will tap the tenth fret, and then uh, do the pull off to the seventh fret. Eight, ten, eight, seven. And then we move up the scale following the same pattern, 12, 8, um, 12, 8, 10, 12, right? Then we, we move up using the same pattern, then we move up again to the 15th, 17th, and to add a lot of drama we can finish it with a bending and make a phase. So um, slowly it would sound like this. See if we can play it a little faster than that. Well, I hope you found some of this information useful, and I'd be glad to read your questions and comments in this YouTube page. And I guess uh, have a good day.